video. We are definitely here. This is Big Rich, Mr. Real Talk in New York, a.k.a. The Love Doctor. I got my man Don in the building. I got the engineer, my man Big L. And I got my main man, my main man, my brother from another mother, That's right. Dave Shu. And I got the one and only, the one and only Super C, my brother, yes, sir. on the ones and twos, y'all. What's good, y'all? I X Radio, we just took over the stage. Now, Dave Shu, I want to holler at you, man. What's going on with you, man? Hey, God, man. Everything's good, man. It's a blessing. I'm here. Uh, just made 49 years old. So, you know, I'm still in the running. I'm still in the race. And I'm above the ground. So, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, I got my man Don, you know my man Don, he in the building, yo. What's going on, Don? What's good, man? What's good? You already know the boy Don is in the building, the Brooklyn boy. Yeah. You say I don't have love for the Bronx, but you see I'm out here, man. Hi. I'm we're, everywhere. We're about to get into this interview right now with my man Dave Shu, the hottest promoter in the game. But the crazy part about my man Dave Shu, it didn't it just start for him. This has been going on for a long time, you know? 20 so, years. 20 years in the game, man, and he's still irrelevant, you know what I mean? A lot of promoters done came and gone, but Dave Shu is still irrelevant. So what's going on with you, Shu? Hey, nothing, man. You know, everything is good. We're looking forward to the big white and blue affair that we got coming up. Uh, the white party meets the shades of blue. That's next Saturday, June 11th, down at Stage 48. Okay, okay. Real good look. Got the whole building. Okay. Now, one thing about you, Dave Shu, that I always say about your parties, it's a, always a grown and sexy. No fighting, yes, no, no beefing. That's one thing I always loved about your party, Dave Shoot. How do you keep that, that era of your people coming out, man? Well, what happens is, is that what I do is I look for uh, a group of promoters that uh, help me with the situation. Big shout out to my team, the Dynasty. Okay. That's, that's Ed Papers, Mike B from Brooklyn, Al Pino, uh, my man D Rob. Um, that's a group of fellas that we do this together in the last, uh, I think, three and a half years we've been together. Okay. But now you're saying the last three and a half years, as, as far as me being a friend and a partner and rolling as a promoter, I've known you've been, like you said, in the game for 20 years and you've been keeping it going. I mean, I remember the biggest party I remember, I had so much fun with, you did that party down at the Roxy's. Was, at the Roxy's. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, shoot, like right now, what do you think, I mean, because to me, for me to come out the game, I came out the game. Right. promoting. I was at Mingles for 14 years. That's right. That's First right. Friday for 14 that's years. That's right. But what made me come out the game was it's just too many promoters. Right. There it is. You know, I, you know, to me, I like the better when, when we look forward to an event. Yes, sir. It was a Dave Shue event. Right. It was a Gator event. Yeah, it was a, You know, it was a black and gold event. That's right. You know, um, rest in peace, Dwayne. That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? But when you had an event, Right. You had time to get yourself ready, prepared, That's right. and stuff like that. That's, That's right. what I was looking forward to back then. Now, everybody's a promoter. You got, right. And that, to me, that watered down the game. Right. But right. for some reason, Dave Shu, you still stay irrelevant. Well, well what I do is, um, um, my, my, someone I look up to, a lot of people would say, oh, come on with that. A lot of people, a person that I look up to is Puff, is, is P. Diddy. Okay. What P. Diddy does is attach himself to the younger people that's coming up and keeps itself relevant. So I might um, get some of the younger promoters, put them together, and um, you know, let them rock with me. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Because okay. they are the future. I don't really knock that there's so many promoters coming up. I think what happens is a lot of these guys, they like to go to uh, um, small lounges and things like that. Whereas for me, I'm not, not to knock the Bronx, because I'm going to rage from the Bronx. You we know, to eat them all, all day, all day, every day. Um, <laughs> But my thing is, I like to take it downtown. That's what I like to do. Okay. Right? I like to go downtown. So my thing is, um, you know, you just, you got to stay relevant. You got to look for new people. You have to be a people person. Right. You have to talk to people. You know, uh, it, it, the thing is, man, the key is being humble. Okay. All right? And allowing people to know that you're a regular guy. Because, you know, I've heard so many stories about myself. You know, like uh, you know, like I'm here, and there's no big eyes and little U's, man. I'm I'm right. You're only as good as your next party. And that's what people need to know. And your last party, excuse me. Okay. Now another thing I love about you, um, Shu, is you keep your team of DJs. You switch over, but one thing you keep irrelevant is my brother Super C. That's man. my man. And like I said, me and Super C, we done been through so much. Rest in peace to stand strong. That's right. You know, uh, who put us together, me and Super C. And uh, we've been rolling for many a years. But I see that every party you keep Super C a part of your mind. Right. Okay, right. so what is that about? What is that relationship what, what, about? What that is about is, man, first and foremost, he's my brother. I love him. Um, he's someone that I look up to. Mm -hmm. He's someone that is a listening ear and someone that 
um, that that I do take advice from. But m one of the biggest things, it's all right to have love for a brother or a sister, but the reality of it, when it comes to his craft, okay, right, he's number one in my eyes, okay. right. So when Stan put me with him. Um, I knew right away from listening to him. Listen, brother, you need to do this, do that, do that. He's a monster. Okay. Um, a lot. Uh, um, he's one of I can say how uh, as well as myself, and, and I thank you for inviting me to the show. But we're, we're he's one of the people that uh, other DJs try not to recognize, right? Okay. Because he's actually better than a lot of the DJs out there, okay. and that's no and that's no that's no uh, down down on them. But well, my man is very good, so he's on top of his game. If he wasn't on top of his game, friend or no friend, he wouldn't be playing for him. Okay, now Dave Chu, um, another thing I, I must touch on, you know, like I said, once again, I've been a fan of yours, as you know, like I said, we both been promoters, but I love the fact that you keep it going on. I had to come out of the game. But Dave Chu, one thing I, I, I noticed about you that, um, when you say humble, the right. humbleness with you makes a lot of people come out for you. Right. Now, I want to know, why these other promoters don't see the game that you're, the format that you put out there for them to make sure that their situations keep going? Well, I think a lot of times, man, a lot of, with people, people in general, um, but you're talking about the promoting game, a lot of times uh, we get in our heads that we're bigger than life, uh, that we don't need to collaborate with anybody. I think, I can speak for myself, okay. is that even though at one particular time I was very big, but through the course of the years, you understand, if you're not getting new blood in, people go on the on the on the decline, so okay. to speak. Okay. So uh you have to connect with people. At one time I needed to be the boss. Right. In my team there's no bosses. Okay. We're all the same and we're all on the same level. So so I say that collaboration, strength, when you always hear that that uh that saying strength is in numbers, it's not just a saying, it's reality. Okay. You know now what I mean? now when I first um talk to my partners about doing this um, radio station as well as um, TV station, um, we start talking about some of the people that we wanted to bring up. And you was definitely the first person that I made. A f I reached out to and said, Appreciate I need to get my brother up here so we can explain to the people how to keep this game going on, how to keep Dave Shoes' name going on. Appreciate it. And I definitely love the fact that you're a promoter who people look up to and people follow. Right. And as long as you're in the game, I feel that I could be in the game because yes, I follow you, Dave Shoe. You know what I'm saying? People say that, I mean, people don't even understand is that forget the 20 years. When I mean, you got 20 more years of friendship yeah, on right. top of the 20 years of school together. together. Right. You already know. Right. So just, just being a friend of a friend that we've been together for so long, right. it makes me feel so good to let you know that, you know, I'm always going to be a friend of yours and I'm always going to be a follower of yours. Right. Right. And, and, you know, um, it just feels good that you know you keep you keeping it going and you're making the game irrelevant. Well, check this out, bro. I brought something. This is your first oh, show, okay. and, I, and I brought something to show my okay. appreciation to you. you this ready? is for you. All, All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. And I will be at your party. That's June 11th. June 11th. Okay. Now, um, what other upcoming events do you have coming so we can get this on the air? As well as I want a lot. Of Dave Shoe when he came up here, he asked me a few minutes ago. He said, "Yo, Big Rich, besides this interview." What are we going to be doing? And I said, Dave Shoe, I got another page for you. Okay. What, I'm, what I want to be doing is every month I want Dave Shoe to have his own page. Okay. So people can go on my show, go to the Dave Shoe page, and see your upcoming events. So okay. I'm going to have a promotional page. I appreciate that. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing for the promoters. Right. And uh, as well as if somebody passed away, like my man just passed away a couple of weeks, that's like that would play the game click. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to have a rest in peace page, right. you know what I mean? Right. So, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I just want to keep this uh, relevant where people, you know, they're going to be keep going on to know what Dave's shoe is going on, what's going on with Dave's shoe, right. the DJs and all that. And I see we got another DJ just walked up in the house. My okay, brother. the legend. Okay, okay. we got okay. the, uh, we got my man E. Kim. Super rocking. Oh, the super okay. rocking. Okay, So, right. um, like I said, once again, anytime you want to come through. Right. That next thing we got coming up, we are August 6th, we're on the cornucopia. Majesty, that's one of the biggest yachts here in New York, 1,200 passengers. It could hold more, but the Coast Guard put a, a limit on that. Okay. Then after that, we have uh, our Black Extravaganza, and that's going to be for E-Papers, and that's going to be right here in the Bronx. I'm 
I'm gonna disclose that on the next show. And anytime you want to come through, man, uh, like I said, we're gonna set up the promotional page. Right. You can come through, and I'm um, super C. You know, he's gonna be here with me a lot. So you know, That's right. the family That's is right. in the building. And once again, we gotta say rest in peace to my brother Stan Strong. That's man. right. And uh, once again, thank you for coming thank through, you, man. Brother. And you already know, man. Okay. Hey, um, hit me with a couple of songs, and I'm gonna get to my man that's super rocking.